But, hello, hello everybody. It has been a little bit since we last came along and played some Digimon Survive because things plague. But, we are returning. Granted, a little bit of a break probably wasn't terrible because, boy howdy did things happen last time. And, uh, uh, Aru Kinemon just kind of sucks at her job, doesn't she? She's supposed to be getting sacrifices and just keeps putting kids to die. You think any sacrifice would do? And I was like, ah, he's lost his mind, just squish him. And then what happened to Shuji? Just left me speechless. I really should get more like these. More. Interesting. Despite having numlock on for my expressions, the game's like, no, we will use the number pad arrow keys, which is a little weird, but let's get on with things where bad things did happen last time and hope bad things no longer happen. <laughs> ah. Hope. Let us have hope. Yeah. Last time, basically, well, at the end of last time, which was the beginning of this here diddly D, we got a flashback of Garuruman being Gabumon and having had uh, Digivolve to protect Haru. And then Haru got sent back th through the portal. But once again, I'm just going to assume that the professor is Haru because the professor came back last time too. And yeah, the Garurumon kind of had a grudge against Digimon who derived power from the chosen children because eh, my child ran away, kind of. I didn't get all the information. And he had a nightmare about that. But yes. Oh, <laughs> it was all just a dream. A dream about bonding with humans. He says dream, but it was obviously a memory. Silly boy. <laughs> if that's how you feel, why not join our hunt for sacrifices? Hmm. She has fog around her, like the boss fog. Wonder what that means. Were you watching me sleep? That's pretty creepy. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not going to work with you, yet then you sleep within their base. You sleep within their base. What is wrong with you? I don't care about humans. It's not those kids I have a grudge against. Ah, lass, what a shame. But I can't just stand here and let those jerks do whatever they want. They're using the human's power to evolve. I'll beat them and destroy all their bonds. Seems like an odd motivation, but sure. <laughs> so she's going to try and manipulate that, because she's a sneaky little schemer. Even though she hasn't succeeded at any of her things. So far, at least. And now we're on the beach. Do 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 do. Also, apparently, Digimon Survive got an update recently. It was like one megabyte. Not sure what they updated. Probably text. I could probably see them changing the grammar quickly. All right. There's the exit. Is everyone safe and. Yeah, because technically we kind of did just see. Lopmon get beaten into being Windigomon, and then he ate Shuji. Like, when Ryo died, it felt kind of like, oh yeah, he was just taken by the shadows, Danganronpa blood, ha ha ha. He got fucking eaten. That was disturbing, but yes, Kaito. Everyone not in good mood, because we saw friend get eat. Oh. So while, yes, we were on the path of must survive, autopilot, did see friend die. I think it goes without saying, but we're all pretty beat up at this point, man. After everything that happened, it'd be weird if we weren't. Okay, Minoru, we get it. Calm down already. You're not usually so harsh. Harsh? People died! Ryo and Shuji are gone! You're the weird one for acting like nothing's wrong! Look, I'm not okay with this either. Oh. You're, you're right. Sorry, man. It's just like, dude, 
I don't want to become Shuji 2.0, where I freak out about everything. I'm trying to be calm and collected, because somebody has to be. And that may as well be me. Minru and everyone else lost their cool from the emotional shock. It's not safe to explore like this. We should rest till we feel better. Professor, I would like to talk to Professor. Takuma, you've got quite the look there, Takuma. Are you okay? Uh, I'll be fine, Agumon. I just need to let my body... We're safe around here, right? I don't sense any enemies. I think we're fine. All right. If you think so too, then I trust you, Agumon. You all must be pretty exhausted. Don't push yourselves too hard. The same goes for you too, Professor. By the way, how are you alive? Was he sh was he saved by Renamon? Maybe? He could have been saved by Renamon. I don't know. Where have you been, anyway? To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure you'd make it. I'm glad we found each other. I also thought I was done for, but I got lucky. Although I blacked out along the way, so I'm not completely sure. I probably bumped into something as I was falling, and it softened the impact. I apparently landed in water and was swept into the drainage path. Kind of convenient, but at the same time kind of understandable. He did fall off of the dam. And the water might have swept him away from the fog, so the fog didn't grab him. Though I think the fog also needs to, like, have some kind of emotional grab to you. Potentially. So, like, because uh, they went into the fog before, and the fog just kind of messed with their heads and made them wonky. But uh, someone like Ryo, when they go into the fog, they get nabbed. Once I came to, I got out to look for everyone. It's been, what, two days? Yeah, it's been like two days for you, hasn't it? Because... Yeah, it has to have been two days, because... We went to... Because the, the timeline. I'm trying to remember the timeline. The timeline for Professor was... He found us, and we were looking for Shuji and Saki. And then we went and we found them, and he fell off the dam. And we brought them back, and then we're like, uh-huh, we have to go get uh, to the tower so that we can get phone reception. And that's when we ran into Kaito, and then Ryo died, and then we're like, okay, let's go to the amusement park after the day after. So, no, it's been like, yeah, two to three days. But then I realized I ended up on a different island than before. After exploring and figuring out, I went, I went back to the waterway. I assumed that if I made it to the other side, I might find you all of you again. And now I finally did. He doesn't know. The two of us are dead. So that's what happened. But I was too late. If only I'd made it back earlier, I might have saved Shuji. In all honesty, he probably would have, because then Shuji wouldn't be like, I have to be the leader! Why is no one leaderly me? He was kind of a jackass. Still horrifying death and sad I didn't save him, but he was kind of a jackass. All right, you could stay here and rest. I'll investigate the perimeter. What? But, Professor, it's too dangerous to go out there by yourself. Oh, I'm well aware. If I find anything, I'll let you all know right away. I may not be able to fight, but I want to make myself useful somehow. Needless to say, what you kids need most right now is simply rest. It makes sense that as the only one with any energy, I should be on patrol. Understandable, but you don't have a Digimon partner, so I fear for you. Well, that does make sense. Everyone is exhausted and in shock. We're in no shape to move. The professor wants to look around, so it makes sense for him to do it. I guess you're right. Just be careful, okay, professor? Of course. I'll be back soon. He has to be Haru. He has to be. It's been a while since the professor left. I swear, if they kill the professor off right after he gets back, I'm going to be pissed. They're playing piano, the bad piano. I don't like it. The professor sure is taking a long time. I'm starting to get worried now. And I'm worried about us too. I want to say a word. Not that I blame them. We've been through a lot in such a short period of time. What the heck was that? What are you talking about, Kaito? Was it a vision from Marukinimon? No, it can't be. Shuji was eaten by... 
by Windigomon. And then Windigomon was swallowed up by those hands that came out of the fog. Yeah, he just disappeared like Ryo. Disappeared? He didn't just disappear! Shuji died, just like Ryo did! I mean... Dragmon, just what are you guys? What was that thing we saw back there? I... I don't know. I've never seen anything like that before. You have to know something! Our lives are on the line here! Kaido's getting worked up, but I understand where he's coming from. But at the same time, attacking our allies not the best plan, man! Everyone's shaken up. They don't know what to believe anymore. Isaki, if we don't do something, everyone's going to... God damn it. Everyone's breaking their bonds. And it was Windogamon. I was out of line, Saki. Four months just worried about you. Right, Aoi? Don't you dare, Aoi. How dare, Aoi. I kind of get where she's coming from. Just to be clear, you guys are on our side, right? Of course we are. Of course? How can you even say that? Can you prove you're truly on our side? Doesn't the fact that I fought at your side this whole time prove anything to you? It's true. You've always been there for us like friends. Partners, even. But can we really trust you? How do we know you aren't lying? For all we know, you're pretending you're worried to trick us later. Calm down, Mineral. I know you're concerned, but bullying is not a good look on you. Excuse me? You don't tell me what to do. What makes you guys so different from everything we've fought so far? Allow me to make something clear. If we hadn't accompanied you children, you'd all be long gone. So what? You're saying you could just get rid of us anytime you want? Minoru, you are losing your mind too. Why do you keep assuming the worst about us? Enough, Minoru. I understand how you feel, but this is getting us nowhere. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, Takuma. I just don't know what to do. Minoru's really confused. I wonder if I can make him feel better. If he can calm down, that might give him some time to figure out what he wants to do. How about not be a Jackie S? Because again, they've been with us this entire time. And it's just like, didn't you see what happened? Fucking Shuji was beat. Because first off, Shuji was nothing but emotionally devastating to Lopmon. And then we fucking saw him just like brutally beat him down. Everyone has their breaking point. Or if I can suggest what we should do, that might make him feel better too. Now's not the time. Now's not the time to think about what to do. Everyone's in shock and tired. Overthinking it will only lead to trouble. Rest your body and your mind will feel better too. Yeah, you should see yourself right now. Don't get too carried away. Look who's talking! Whose fault do you think this is anyway? Mew is the one with the brains. Stop it! Why can't we just get along? I thought we were partners, and I meant that it could all be a lie. You're assuming it's a lie. Exactly what the enemy wants you to think. The child is the smart one here. Listen to the child. And you... No, you shut up! Why? You don't like what I said? You wouldn't say that if you knew what happened to Ryo. Siakuman might try to eat you one day too, you never know. How can you say that? Siakuman would never do such a terrible thing. Listen to the child. If I were, I'd be thinking about your own partner instead. Yeah, Kaido, you're way too mean to Drachman. An apology is in order. We're supposed to be on the same side here. Oh, come on. I said that because I'm worried about you. Everyone's losing their goddamn minds. Enough! This is pointless if you're just gonna be stubborn. Oh, come on. Hey, where are you going? Bakuman, don't go. But you God, who knows what'll happen? Can you at least wait until the professor gets back before deciding, please? Yeah, that's not too much to ask, is it? Come on, Falcomon. All right, I suppose I may have been hasty in my distress. If only Minoru and Fal- Why can't I be there to be like, Hey! Kaito! Minoru! Saki! Do you want the, another Windigomon? Because not trusting your partner is how you get another Windigomon. Anyone with brains could see it. Bleg. Oh boy, free action hell time. More unluckies. Waterway Plaza. 
Beach by Waterway. Free Battle. Woods near Sit... City? Doesn't really look like a city, but... Eh, I guess. Apartment buildings. Two free battles! Man, if I was there, all these children be catching these hands for being idiots. Every last one of them. So I'm going to feel like Minoru and Kaito are... I, I don't know. They're like all kind of in danger of being bled. Why would you go back to the Plaza of Doom? Let me just see what the other area... Okay, that's what I was just wondering. And then the actual second area. Apparently everybody is wandering around. Okay, good. The professor is alive. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Beach by waterway. And then waterway plaza. It's Minoru and Miyuki. Should I call out to them, maybe? Boat. The wreckage has been cut in half. I think it was a boat, but we can't use it now pretty much looks like a boat. If it wasn't, we could head straight back to school or maybe other places. Would be handy. Are you okay, Falcomon? Oh, I'm fine. Is he? He seems way more afraid than usual. Honestly, I'm jealous of Agumon. Huh? It would be amazing to be as close as you two are. Uh, it's nothing. Forget it. I bet Falcomon wishes he were on better terms with Minoru, too. All right, Minoru, jackass. Hey, man, aren't you scared? I'm scared that you're going to get Windigomond. You mean of Agumon and Falcomon? Yeah, they might turn against us like Lotmon did. Think about it, they attack when we're alone with them. Our strength is nothing compared to theirs. And more than one of them could turn against us at once. Should we really team up with them just because it enables us to fight? Why are you trying to spread so much suspicion, Minoru? I'm talking to Takuma, you need to back off. He's already accepted that Falcomon and the others are traitors. Be honest, Takuma. What do you think of those monsters? I'm gonna tell him the fucking truce. He's a jackass. I trust him. I could do the two. You, you're too worried, but I'm gonna save because we do need to build affinity. I trust Agumon. I trust Agumon. He's protecting me this far. If you'd stop and think rationally, you'd trust Falcomon for keeping you safe, too. I wish you were as kind-hearted as Takuma. Oh, shut it! I thought he told you to back off! Who am I trusting you if you were as nice a monster like Agumon? Are you trying to say it was my fault you don't trust me? I sure am! Why does it have to be me and you, anyway? It's in our very instinct. We always remain with our partners, for better and for worse. We wait for a human child and then protect them with all our might. That's all we know. Who do we go who we go together with and why is beyond me? That's your answer. Everyone's being an asshole today. At least Falcomon has a more reason. Hmm. I guess I'll say I want to be trusting, because it seems like the palatable answer to the boy. I want to believe them. Algamon and Falcomon both. Why? I honestly don't know. I just feel like I should. I feel like I want to. Ah, uh, Tacoma, I trust you too! Well play, acting like you're the hero. Huh? Nothing. Alright, Algamon, why are you protecting Takuma then? Because, because of who he is. I just want to protect him. Seriously? It's in our very instinct. At least that one wasn't as harsh. But still, why you must be asshole. I guess we'll talk to Miyuki. Because she's here. Hey, Miyuki, what are you doing? She's always so difficult to talk to. I'm never sure how I should approach her. Over there. What, is there something special over there? I don't see anything over there. Maybe use camera? What is Miyuki seeing? Will she tell me if I flat out ask her? Maybe an indirect approach is better.
because you don't have a thing. Hmm. hmm. I will do the moral thing up here. I don't understand why this one is a moral choice or a harmony choice or a wrathful choice. I didn't see anything. So if you tell the child that you didn't see anything, you're being wrathful. It's kind of silly. Say something, anything. Oh, that thing isn't that thing over there. I tried to play along, but she still won't say a peep. Here. Oh, well, thanks. This is a big help. I don't know what else to say. I still don't know what else what it is she saw. Miyuki sure is mysterious. I'm gonna try. Camera. I doubt. That would have been cool if it actually unlocked a digital findy findy. There's Mew and Saki. Should I talk to them? Let's talk to Siakoman. You two sure do get along well. See, that makes me feel better. Wow, Takuma's so nice. I can relax being by his side. Seems like you and Mew are really close, Siakoman. It does. I'm happy to hear it. I wish Minoru and Saki had such smooth relationships. Minoru is one thing, but Saki's whole vibe seems kind of off. I thought they'd get along swimmingly, but such intense refusal instead. Aoi seems a little uneasy, too. I wonder if we're really gonna be okay. A thing on the ground. Again, why did we- why did you come back down here? This is the bad place. A long stairway of twists and turns. Ascending this will take us to the surface. The waterway goes even further in, it would seem. There isn't much light ahead. We should go to the surface to investigate. Rather than the doomsday. Mm, Saki? What? Um, you're, you're just like normal. Earlier you were telling Florimon to back off. I was just surprised since Minoru was acting all weird and scared. He was? Yeah. Florimon seems uneasy. Maybe she can't figure out what Saki's feeling. If they can get along superficially, I guess they'll do for now. Eh, probably wouldn't. Because... I think the big thing about the... Because she's not being true, emotionally speaking. You can keep secrets, but emotionally... Hmm. Although, you know, it's kind of crazy how quickly and easily people can die. Huh? Where the heck did that come from? Yeah, Zaki, why would you say something so sad? No reason, it just popped into my head. Why? Did I say something wrong? It's not a problem, really. I just want to know what she's thinking. Everyone's depressed or upset, but Saki seems somehow different. It's like she's not really feeling anything, like all she had was a bad dream. That's not healthy. It could build up and get worse. What's she thinking and why? Would she tell me if I asked? Because it kind of is a problem, ever so slightly. I'll say I'm just worried, but not probe. I'm just worried. You seem like something's on your mind. I do? Well, thanks for checking in. Sure thing. What's wrong, though? Um, I'm just kind of glad, I guess. It's not anything deep. I just got a little serious. How I put this thinking about dying just makes you sad. You're in shock after all the scary stuff we've seen. You should rest up. Scary stuff, huh? Am I scared, then? I just feel sad. That's weird. She doesn't even know what she's feeling. Mood! I might be overstepping my boundaries a little by saying this, but... I feel like you were just thinking things over in your own way. Really? Yeah, so I just hope you can rest up and feel better. And then... You can get back to being your normal, carefree self. Is that how I seem to you? Oh, uh, I didn't mean to! <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, I'll try to feel better. Okay. It seems that... Saki isn't terrible in her emotions, but she does, like, she has issues. Because, let's see, I have five. I should be able to talk to everyone. And because it's been a bit, let's do a free battle, get a lay of the land, literally, in this case. Of course, I'm going to bring in my boy. 
because we have to... We need to level up the main group. Actually. Yeah, you can be there and then... Lower level dudes back there. Because... It seems like Mew might be, like, one of the harder ones to kill in this game. Alright. Ah. I didn't see that. Is there any... Like, uh, treasure chests? It doesn't seem like there are any treasure chests. There is graffiti. So yeah, no treasure chests in this fight. All right, let's see. I think I should just move up one. Okay, he's running away. Same thing. But yeah. I think this is the part of the game where everything's like, ha ha ha, bad things can definitely happen. And I am fucking terrified. Oh, so terrified on how things can turn out. Because before, oh, this is probably where the uh, potential for... Thing, yeah, just things can feel like they can go bad. Very scared. Hmm. It's like interesting that the evolution path is like diverging like this. And I don't know why. Hmm. We could try and talk because there is a fair amount of them. I'm gonna go for the ran a random Miramon. Ain't you a frail looking thing? You eating enough meat? I eat everything! Did you know taking a nap after stuffing your face is the best? Thanks for the lesson. Anyone else just gets in my way? I'm gonna let you simmer down. Hell yeah. Miramon, join me. Ah, we got a Miramon. Hell yeah. Hmm. Guess I'll just do a thing. Slowly inch up. And the rest of the battle will actually be battle. Because I also just realized a funny side effect. Because if things do go very, very bad... We can lose our actual good Digimon and not just free Digimon. And that's very, very bad, Mr. Jameson. Very fucking bad. How dare you hurt the girl? Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. Your annihilation is imminent with some pepper breath. And hide away for now, because I fear for you. At least get you up on the same level so we can't get extra critical chance against you. Here, though, annihilation for you. Die. Okay. 
and he's still hiding in a corner. And he ran even further into a corner. We'll go ahead and digivolve. Annihilation. I don't feel like you're going to accomplish much. And maybe next turn we'll go up there and like digivolve him into his ultimate form we'll inch up just to oh you're faster my bad He's just super running away. I thought he was already at the edge. And get up there and prepare for doom. Sounds like he said Metal Greymon Canada. Everyone can digivolve already. Yeah, just feel like bad things are on the horizon, and I'm scared. Very scared. Very, very scared. We will come at him like a united front. You think you can run, little Maramon? You've made him. That seems bad. Why is all the ice monsters coming for you? Please don't go for her. I don't know what happens if they die in a... I guess I shouldn't worry too much because I'm just going to come over here and annihilate you. Get get destroyed, but yeah, you're just bye bye. Yeah, that was overkill. My bad. I need to digivolve Growlmon into War Growlmon ASAP. Destroy. And just smiggity smack him just a little bit. I wonder what that dibby da there is. That's saying X. X marks the death. X marks doom. At least we got some levels up. Huzzah. And we got a Miramon. But yeah, fear. Oh, they moved. Well, that's nice. Wait. Okay, Saki is just like, I am going to teleport. All right, so here we have Professor. That'll take us down to four. Saki, that'll take us down to three. I feel like, Sa mm, uh, let's do Saki. Me scared. I wonder who's over there. Oh, Saki and Floramon. I wonder what they're up to. Only I get the impression that now might be a bad time to interrupt. What am I gonna do? This isn't working at all. I'm all pent up, but I can't let it out. Uh, that doesn't sound like you. It's weird, Saki. Really weird. Normally you've got no problem coming right out with what you want to say. Exactly. Something's just not right. So focused on Aoi, it makes me nervous. 
I'm not normally like this at all. I want to face her more, I don't know, properly. Hmm, well, why don't you start with a normal chit-chat or something? I'm telling you, that's easier said than done. Oh, I know I just do what to do. Oh, yeah? Tell me, tell me. Flormon, can you be owie for me here? Huh? Why? I don't get it. That way I can practice talking with her, so I won't have to have such a hard time bringing it up. Go on, Flormon. Talk to me like you're owie, okay? Saki! I don't think that's quite... <laughs> oh, you're just like, Saki! <laughs> I don't think that's quite right. Oh, he doesn't talk like that. No, Saki, look up behind you! Oh, that's bad. No, you've got to be kidding me! Stand back, Saki, leave this to me! Now let's see what we've got here. Sudden battle, my favorite. <laughs> this thing is way tougher than I thought. No, Floramon, we've got to get out of... Wait, no, we can't! Saki, we, we can't run. I mean, if we run away, just think what'll happen to the other kids. And now we, of course, they'll all be in danger. If anything like that happened, I'm sure I'd regret it like crazy. That's why I, we, we can't lose here. No way, no how. Oh, you gotta get your old... Oh, hey! It's okay, don't worry. It's not okay, I can see you're suffering. No, I'm not. This is something from deep, deep inside me. Probably like nothing I've felt before. It's like gushing out. I can't hold it anymore. Kinda looks like it. In that case, I beg you, something cute this time, or at least not creepy. <laughs> Lol. Okay, this is a good sign that Saki worries about everyone else and just had a. This is a good sign that their bond is only strengthening. What did you become? I don't think I recognize this mod. Oh, I think it's a cool mod. Kinda creepy, but kinda cool. And in that scene, kind of cute. <sighs> that look. Sorry to keep you waiting, Saki. Neat. Oh, I only... Oh, do I? Can I bring more in? I don't think so. Nope, this is a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, first, let's see. Can we talk to it? No. But we can special defense boost when we need to. But let me see. So... I... will take a single step forward. Fight me. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Spiral flower. Neat. Please don't freak out, Saki. We did it. We won. We totally won. Absolutely incredible. But what am I going to do with this? Saki, do you not like the way I look? Is it weird? What? No, that's, that's not it at all. Well, it sounds to me like it is. No, that's not it. I mean, I can't say I expected this. It's a bit sharper than I expected. But, but hey, it's only just barely outside my expectation, so ha-ha, <laughs> ha-ha. Anyway, you're the whole reason we won. That I can appreciate. Yeah, thanks. So, what can't you appreciate? <laughs> Stop picking up my picking on my semantics. I'm super duper grateful. Really, I am. I'm totally counting on you, McKay. So yay, Saki and so while she still is kind of ish ish in a way, she is perfect enlightenment. Yee. Evolves free monster to ultimate. So maybe I will be able to get my War Growlmon. But yay! And then there's Owie. I should probably go to the Professor, since we're still in our free-free. There's the Professor. Should I say something to him? Dang it, and Agumon also takes a thing. So let's see. Agumon down to four. Professor down to three. Kaito. Then Owie. Actually, all things considered, I should probably check on Aoi. Because she was also in her kind of... Oh, no. Kind of a half-half state, and that's scary. Probably should help them. Aoi's not around here. I heard that she and Labramon take walks around here sometimes. You know, the one day that we've been here. Thought I'd run on into them, but... Oh, well, I had a question, but I guess I'll ask... Is this going to be another ultimate scene? 
Well, there they are, Howie and Labramon. Howie looks kind of upset. I wonder what they're talking about. I need to be stronger, more reliable. I've been thinking that a lot lately. But you're reliable already. I know you were better than anyone, and that's what I think. No, it's still not enough. I'm still not enough. Are you worried about being a burden to the others? You know that's not possible, right? Thanks for saying so, Labramon. Still, that's not what I'm worried about. Of course, I don't want to hold the others back or be a hassle. But I'd like to become more reliable for myself. That's all. I want to be someone who can protect everyone. Oh, I think that sounds wonderful, Owie. Hey, I want to be a help. I want to help, okay? Go ahead and ask me about anything. I will. Thanks, Labramon. It's kind of strange. Strange what is? No matter how worried or depressed I get, walking in these woods with you always clears my head. If it helps you, I'll walk with you as much as you want, Owie. <laughs> Thank you, really. You see, so Owie's always been discussing her worries of Labramon on these walks. Be that as it may, she's trying her best to change as well. I better do the same. Now's not the time to butt in with my questions. I'll just sneak away for now. What? Who's there? What the? Shoot, they noticed me. Ah, oh, well, I'll just come out and explain it. Oh no, was that an enemy? Man, they've never shown up here before. Come down, Owie. Leave this to me. I won't anyone lay a finger on you. Would be. Oh, it. it I, I was right. It's just another attack for some reason. <laughs> kind of a, a repeat diddly a little bit, but hey, I'm not complaining. It goes to show that their bond is really good and they're not in super danger. I hope. Are you alright, Labramon? Kind of, but if I'm honest, I don't think I can win this one. Labramon, I hate to admit it, but I agree. You're always working so hard to protect me and the others. The power that only protects isn't enough for us to stand up to this guy. I want more, more power, not just to protect, but to overpower. It's frustrating, but it's true. We need more power, power to defeat our enemies. I want to be more than a damsel in distress. I want to defend everyone. And to do that, I need more power. Please don't go crazy. Okay, good. You had a look in your eye and I was like, please don't be like Shuji. Please do not hit the Labramon. Labramon? W what's wrong? This feeling, your craving for power, it's all rushing into me. The strength of your resolve, the courage you use to stand firm, they give me strength. Huzzah! More power! And from a good place! Huzzah! But so is this gonna be more... from that... Ooh! Ooh! Is Cerberus Mon? I get the motif. Cool! <sighs> What's happening? Sorry for the wait, Owie. Don't worry. I won't let you down again. Now watch, and I'll show you what it's like to have all the power you were hoping for. All enemies defeated. Let's go. And I shouldn't be worried too much, because... This here enemy is... I'll just move one forward. And then I'll defend. Come fight me! That was a big wind-up for an attack. And now we shall annihilate you. Mad Dog Fire! And passive skill reduces orientation correction two ranks when attacked. Moderate chance of guarding at the end of turn. Neat. It's musical sides. And we should also take a look. This is a... Oh! Area of Effect 2 on the side. Neat. Get out of here. So now we have even more power. Are you Labramon? Not anymore. The name is Sir... Sir Bresmon. The strength of your resolve transformed me. The strength of my resolve? So those long claws, those fangs, are they a result of the strength I dreamed up? Does my appearance frighten you? Well, a little, but it's not your body that scares me. It's the sharp, monstrous shape of the power I craved. Can I truly master such power? Don't be afraid. As long as your heart is true, even great power will not go astray. You can handle this, Owie. I believe in you. 
Sir Brismon, you're right. Power won't hurt people indiscriminately if used properly. I'll do what I can to live up to your faith, so please stay by my side. Sure, th that's my line. It always seems like she's taking a big step forward. I can't fall behind. Yay! More happiness! Yay! And another perfect enlightenment slab! Hell yeah! And that area's done, and now we have lots of room. So let's, uh, first off, since we have the slabs, can I get the boy? One of three, or is that... Do I need three? Do it! Give me War Graumon for more strength in battle. <laughs> then you need a super dupe. You need oh, what is it? You need laser disc. I don't have laser disc. <laughs> but hell yeah! Now we have more ultimates. I feel like I should probably. Hmm. Let's see. Is there anything that can? And we also have a bunch of attacks. Is there anything that lowers water attack? Does not look like there's anything that lowers water attack. So then I will probably keep what I currently have on my dude. But yeah, overall, I am slowly becoming less scared of my teammates going down a Shuji path. But still kind of scared. Just a little scared, but less so now. There's Kaido. Should I call out to him? <laughs> Should I call him out? Call him out on his bullshit? It says Fifth Avenue. Must be the name of the shopping district. Sounds like a name you'd hear in my world. The name is too run of the mill. I can't glean any info from it. Oh, hey, Haru's here. Ice cream bowl. An ice cream freezer. It's topped with a metal cover. Barber shop. What's that red and blue thing, Itakuma? That's a barber shop. Usually it turns. Oh, it's a barber shop sign. Usually it turns round and round. With that twirly design, I bet it'd make my head spin. All right, let's talk to Drakamon. Drakamon. Hey, Takuma. You look pissed off. You look, and you look depressed. Are you okay? I never get depressed. Uh, you should be more worried about yourself. And he's trying to act tough, but making him recognize that he's sad won't necessarily change anything. I'll have to keep my eye on him. Funny that you weren't noted as being here. All right, Kaido. Time to bash off your block. So these are the shopping district ruins. We'll have to stay sharp while we're here. Okay. What is it? You want to talk about something? Hey, Kaido. Everyone seems to be on edge, but how are you doing? Okay, enough, I guess. Drakmon was really yelling. Must be all the stress. Who knows if Kaido will tell me straight how he feels. Should I ask? Maybe I should ask him in an unusual way, or surprise him and see how he reacts. Probably shouldn't surprise the on-edge people, Takuma. Ask a weird question. I was not worried about you, Haru, right? Uh, right, Kaido? Dude, I can speak for myself. Did I make him mad? At least now I can hear how he really feels. I mean, if being suspicious of Drachmon means I'm worried, then I guess I've been worried. I don't want to expose Mew to any danger after all. But not now. I never really needed to worry. If he does decide to fight back, I'll make sure he regrets it. Kaido, how can you say that? I don't trust Drachmon. Not at all. We have no idea whether we can really trust him, you know? Hmm. Interesting. I think that's the loop part. So it probably should be direct. I wonder why Haru doesn't trust Drachmon. Be direct. Did you get mad because you were worried? I just wanted to ask. You see other people as your little toys, don't you? What? Weirdo man. You see people as their toys. Well, you are in a video game, my man. And people get attached to their toys, but fine, we'll be surprising. 
If I creep up behind him while he's looking at Haru. Ah, uh, Takuma, what are you doing? Agamon, shush! The heck are you trying to do sneak up behind me for, huh? Oh, I, uh, uh, seems like you were trying to surprise him. I just wanted to see how you're doing, but I didn't know if you'd tell me. I thought if you're stressed, you'll have a really big reaction when I jump out. What the hell? It was just a random idea. Actually, I don't mind a good prank now and then. Me too, me too! Okay, I'll talk. I'm worried Drachmon's gonna turn against me. But then I realized I don't need to worry. If he does decide to fight back, I'll... Hmm. Trying to think, because the little pop-up, because normally those give opportunity for pop-ups. Hmm. And don't act like you understand when you don't have a monster following you around. Right, I just feel sorry for them. Sorry if I hurt your feelings. Ah. Uh, trying to think of it, neither Haru or Miyuki have their own monsters. What's the difference between us and them? Something to do with the shrine? Kaido. What? The man then kicked me out. To replace with new people. Well, that's not good. The professor disappeared, and I don't want that. Ooh, but that's kind of a far long way ago. Hmm. But at the same time, hmm. I'll have to suck it up, I guess. Because I was way too far away to want to. Hmm. Okay, so Kaido is now over here. But at the same time, we didn't get... A Divity Da. Which is odd. We didn't get an Affinity Up. So let's see. Kaido's at 28. Very low. I need to bring him up, I feel. Hmm. Let's try B direct again. Oh, that was it. I, I'm a fool. You have no reason to worry, but I do want to thank you. From now on, I'll speak my mind more. That way, no one gets worried about me. I am on the lookout for traitors, but I'm not mad. Not worried either. Kind of rude to your boy. But I wonder what Haru's game is. Because, again, Haru's a weird man. Come to think, yeah. It is a little weird. Haru's just a weird little individual. Hmm. But I should definitely... Because I think... 40s is pretty good, so... Wait. Uh... Okay. I think 40s are pretty good, so I think I should focus on Kaito a little bit. But at the same time, I want other interactions. But at the same time... Like... Who knows? Maybe Minoru is one that I need to focus on as well. I am very scared. Well, then again, he's in the Evolution Forest. Let's go to the Evolution... Oh, he's not in the Evolution Forest. I thought it was the Evolution Forest. If it was the evolution forest, then things would be really good, but they did kind of uh, leave off on a bad. Ooh, more memories! What's this? It feels like a voice from someone's consciousness is in my head. Spirited Away, Chapter 3. I met a strange monster while lost in the on the mountain, and together we somehow made it back down. Even so, what greeted me in the foothills was not the village I knew. What? what? A cliff? There shouldn't be one in a place like this. Did we come down the wrong side of the mountain? <laughs> That's it, right? The monster regarded my confusion with a vacant stare of its own. Uh, I'm not sure what the problem is. Hasn't it always been like this around here? But what about my village? Forget the village, just take me someplace with people. Hey, just calm down, okay? There's no village in these parts, and I've never seen a human before you. Come again? According to the monster, this area is teeming with creatures just like it. On rare occasions, humans will wander into this place. Some of the monsters believe that human children have mysterious power and kidnap them for it. But don't worry, I'll protect you. If a bad guy like that comes around, I'll send them packing. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> In other words, this is another world. I really have been spirited away. 
and uh, roll credits. So does that mean I'll never go back to my own world? Hey, don't cry, it'll be okay. I'm here for you. After that, I languished day after day doing nothing, passing the time in despondent days. The monster stayed at my side, giving me food and teaching me about this world. It was pretty irritating at first, but perhaps it was the only reason I retained my sanity. Back where I come from, everyone treated me like a nuisance. I always, I always lived with a bitter taste in my mouth. So that's how it was. But this place is different. There's plenty to eat, no one to resent. And most of all, you're here. I'm gonna live here now. There's nowhere for me to return to back home. I want to forget everything and stay here with you. Okay, if that's what you want, let's make it a happy life then. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I'm going to live here. Me and the monster together. Interesting. Could talk to Agumon, but that's like, he'll probably just give me an item, so. I'll make a preliminary save, talk to him, and probably reload. Takoma, I feel something strange. What is it, Agumon? Can't say for sure, but it feels nasty. Yeah, maybe we should take a good look around the area. Still, if the presence Agumon felt is an enemy, can everyone fight for real right now? Alright, that's just foreshadowing. So, a little bit of a reload. Because paranoia, paranoia. And Minoru. We'll dedicate one more to Minoru. Is that Minoru and Falcomon over there? I hope they're patching things up. Come now, Minoru. Do you really distrust us that much? Yeah, I do. I don't trust a single one of you things. After seeing the same thing happen twice now, how do you expect me to trust you monsters? All right, then let me ask you this. How do you intend to fight the enemy without us? You children are powerless. You're bound to lose immediately if you fight alone. Are you so proud of that monster-like strength of yours? How could you be so insulting about a power you've relied on up to now? Do you truly wish pain upon yourself? If you could survive on your own, then by all means. Oh, you think you're hot stuff, do you? This isn't good. I have to stop them, but who should I stop? is the one being belligerent, but he might be more pissed unless I hear him out. Whatever, I have to say something before they say something they can't take back. I don't want to take his side in this. Because he's being a dick for no reason. Get them to calm down, I say. Come on, guys. Calm down. Fighting here isn't going to make anything better. Hold on. Minoru, if there is one who's trying to pick a fight with me... Huh? It's not my fault. Your friends are the ones who keep attacking us. Don't associate me with them. You should know better as a human. Stop. If you two keep this up, it'll only get uglier. Falcomon, I need you to back off. All right, if you insist. Gee, sounds like you'd make a better partner for Takuma here. Minoru, cool your jets. What good is it going to do to come after Falcomon? Fine, starting to make a guy wonder if you're really on the monster side, man. Yeah, Minoru is probably the next in danger. Promptly followed by Kaito, it feels. Give some calm advice. You're going too far, you two. What are you trying to say, Takuma, that I'm in the wrong? No, man, I'm saying you're both saying too much. If things continue like this, you'll only just end up hurting each other. I believe you are correct. Do accept my apologies, Takuma. How can you stay all so calm all the time, man? Death is waiting around any corner for you, me, for all of us. Are you scared of Falcomon? Well, I... I... You're not downing him because you want to. Isn't that right, Minoru? I mean, yeah. I can't just trust a monster like this on faith. I'm not like you, man. I'm gonna go cool my head. Leave me alone for a bit. All right, then. We'll talk to Falcomon. Are you okay, Falcomon? I cannot stand that short temper of his, but I am untroubled. In other words, you're upset. I have never sought reward or compensation for my efforts to protect him. Even so, he has hurled a bevy of cruel words our way since we exited the waterway. I'm really sorry. There is no need for you to apologize. I share culpability for this turn of events. What do you mean by that? I could not disprove Minoru's words completely. What? Shall we search somewhere else? Uh, yeah, then I'll do just that. Falcomon obviously changed the subject. What could he have meant? Could the doubt that he, that Minoru is shoving into his face 
making it things bad for him. Because I feel like Saki is okay. I need to make sure... Like, you are the one that I'm worried about the most, man. No, actually, I'm worried about Minoru the most? But you're a close second, even if you did say, uh, I'll just fight him if I have to. Oh, no, not meh. Well, I still don't know why. My brain is like, yes, press the map button to bring up the phone. More all out banana. Bananas with legs. Now let's talk to Drachmon. Are you okay, Drachmon? What do you mean? I'm tip top shape every day. I wish I could say that. Actually, I can't deny I'm feeling a little down. I thought so. Kaido's been really cold to you, huh? Our bond is so strange. I know he keeps treating me like crap, but still, all I want to do is protect him with all my might. I know what you mean. I'm pretty sure I'd still want to protect Akuma even if he said something mean to me. I guess it helps that I don't take things too personally. Shouldn't he be more scared of bigger things than me? Bigger things? Must mean Falcomon. Since Falcomon's so serious and focused, he might be taking Minoru's words to heart, too. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Please do! Alright, later. Time to talk to the boy again. Hey, I see Kaido and Dragmon over there. I wonder what those two are up to. How do things look over there? Some stuff washed up in the waterway, but it's all useless junk. Wait! What is it, Drachmon? Actually, this might be something we can use. Oh, you're right. Nice find. It's pretty nice, if I say so myself. <laughs> so, Kaido, you and Drachmon are back on good terms now? Say what? Oh, crap. Well, they might remember all the fighting. What do I do? I can't let this spin out of control. Should I apologize or change the subject or maybe hold my ground? Maybe he interprets it like, we were never on bad terms. I better apologize. Sorry for being weird. Everyone's on edge, so I thought it'd be nice if at least two people weren't fighting. Being on good terms ain't something I'm used to. Yeah. I didn't ask Drachman to follow me around and fight for me. Don't say that! Hmm. Then I think that will be... Because we need the affinity! I'm scared. And sometimes the answer isn't always clear. Sometimes they completely do 180s. Double down. Can I do what I said, so I'll stay the course. Looks like you're back on good terms like the old days. Not gonna back down, huh? I wouldn't put it like that, though. Yeah, our bond was so strong before. That's not what I meant, either. I don't care about trust or bonds. Just getting back to our world Mew. If this thing ever turned against me and put Mew in danger, I would not hold back. Let me put it that way. Look at Kaido's face, Takuma. He's scary. It really is. Just look of, like the time he blew up a Drachmon. Look, I get why you're worried about us. I'll try to be nice while we're still allies, for now. But still, worried, paranoid, fear. Let me take my profile. So, everyone is pretty high up. I should probably do a bit for Aoi because we can't, like, talk to Kaito again. Or can I? Nope. It is just a retread. And I don't think double talking really does much. And can't talk to them, so the last two are here, I guess. With the exception that I could have talked to the professor, but I missed him because things went wonky. Let's talk to Siakoman. Mew, what are you looking at? My tumbly was getting so grumbly, so I thought there might be some sweets around the shop. Remember Siakoman? We go halvesies on anything we find. If I gotta, I gotta. Because I can't talk to them, talk them into thirdsies. Amusing. Sheesh, how he's always sweats the small stuff. Did something happen? Not exactly, it's just I'm worried about the girl. She's just so straight-laced, you know? I wish you'd let her hair down a bit. 
I mean, she has her cute side, but still. It's like he, <laughs> once again, he, she. It's like they changed translators midway through, and the person was like, I don't care. I guess we'll save, just to be safe, and talk to Owie. Hey, you two. You two looking around? You could say that. Half searching, half taking a walk, to be honest. Walking around here made me realize something. The people who lived here led really full lives. Yeah, you can really tell that people lived here wherever you look. Hey! Hey, neat. Hey, guys, I found something we can use. Oh, you're right. Good job, Labramon. <laughs> now we can totally call this a search. I guess so. <laughs> Those two are getting along well. That's good to see. I don't think there'll be any problems even if I don't intervene. Here, you should take this, Takuma. Really? But you're the ones who found it. It's fine. I'm not sure I'll know how to use it when the time is right. Back when Minoru and Kaido got mad, I found myself doubting Labramon in my heart. At this point, I know for a fact I made a mistake. Labramon's protected me so much. Even so, I let myself get uneasy, and I forgot to be gra grateful for everything she's done. Nah, now he seems kind of down. I wish I could cheer up. She regrets doubting Labramon. Doesn't look like she cares at this point, though. It must be bothering her. What can I do to make her feel better? Hmm. I hmm. Let's make up for it. If you're worried about what's been done, why not work hard going forward? Work hard going forward? I don't think Labramon wants to see you stay upset this whole time. He's right, Owie. I want to see you smiling. If you trust me and laugh with me, that'll give me all the strength I need. Is that really enough? Yeah, let's give it all we've got. Aha! Okay, if that would make you happy, Labramon. Good, I think those two are going to be all right now. Hmm. Let me check. Because, ooh, Mew is pretty low, but at the same time, I'm a bit worried about Saki, but Saki is higher up. So I'll do a little bit with Mew, even though she is probably the least in danger because she's the most in tune with her Digimon, but still. You know, it's strange. What's up? You see, there was a TV show that used to be on back when my dad was a kid, and this place really reminds me of that. Oh yeah, I can see that. This place has a feel, real retro feel to it. Look at this, Mew. Think this will help us out somehow? What? Gimme, gimme. Ooh, nice find, my dude. You take it. You all can use it together. Ah, oh, thanks, Yakuman. But is it really okay for me to just take this? Why not? It's not like we know who owns it. <laughs> That's true. Might as well keep it then. Those two sure are close. That time everyone was fighting feels like ancient history. I hope the others can come to uh, get along as well as Mew and Siakamon do. Ah, maybe everyone should model themselves after them. Should I take the chance to ask Mew to play Peacemaker? How do I... Uh, but how do I convince her? <coughs> You're the only other sane person here. Well... Hmm. Ask her normally. Hey Mew, got a favor to ask you. What? Mew and Siakamon are real tight, you know? I'd like you to use that as an example to help everyone get along better. Oh yeah? Does that include Kaido? Why wouldn't it? No way. Don't know about the others, but it just make him worse. You're being tricked, he'd say. Oh, you mention it. No good, huh? Guess that means I can only watch over them for now. It's a bit irritating. I'm fool. You aren't getting rid of my affinity game. Soro Soro. Soro Soro yourself. Care to mediate? You can hold power over people. Uh, Mew, would you be interested in mediating for the others? <laughs> Are you serious? No way, not even a little bit. Besides, they wouldn't even listen to me. I already tried once, but it didn't help. I don't know if I can explain why I trust Siakumon as much as I do. You're so calm and collected. That noggin just not just for show! Besides, when I get pissed, it's not like I want someone to come along and fix it. That makes sense. And then, final answer. I have to basically be, Oh, I am horrible and terrible. Please help me, great rowdiness. 
Um, if I could have a word, Lady Mew. <laughs> what? I would like everyone to be on good terms like you and Siakaman are. I humbly request that you appease those of us that are still quarreling. You mean like act as a role model? Hmm, I wonder if I should. Come on, Takuma, don't go getting her motor running. We're on good terms, sure, but the others are pretty pissed off. Nothing we say will get them to change on a dime and make up for all of a sudden. Uh, I can see that. Hmm. I get how all that's gone down is worn on everyone's ability to trust each other. I just thought there was something we could do about it. You're a nice guy, Takuma. Still, what happens, happens. It's what it is. I feel like I just got schooled. Thanks for calling me Lady Mew, though. Go on, Takuma, do it again. Maybe some other time. Lame. I think you're gonna give her a complex, Takuma. I think we should be well rested by now. Uh. Everyone's still feeling like shit. Everyone's here, but it feels different than before. Maybe everyone's just tired, Takuma. Yeah, I guess so. So much has happened, plus all the fighting, we can't expect to recover overnight. Looks like we might have trouble getting along. Things were rough, but we got along fine until we escaped that underground waterway. It might get emotionally overwhelming to stay here with everyone in such a bad mood. Should I try to force everyone to feel better? Can everyone still walk? We can't keep exploring this area forever. It's time we meet up with the professor. Okay, okay. Uh. I wonder if we're really in any shape to head to the enemy base. Hopefully getting our bodies moving will at least distract us. Oh great, the music! <sighs> Asshole! <laughs> Victim! This isn't good, everyone looks on edge. Takuma, is it just me or do things feel tense around here? Uh, I guess so. It feels so grim. What can I do to make people feel better? Maybe it was a bad idea to make them walk. Should I try and lighten the atmosphere? I have no idea. Well, let's talk about something. Get people moving. Oh, that's Raph. I forgot. Blah. I don't want Raph. Don't, no idea why talking about stuff would be Raph. But I completely forgot. Let's rest for a bit. I'm going for a moral playthrough. We're not fully recovered yet. How about we rest some more? We shouldn't do anything too rash before the professor gets back. What's the point of resting more? We've already recovered as much as we can. You must be in shock like the rest of us, though, Saki. So you're just thinking is killing me. And resting won't bring back the dead. Saki. It's better to be safe than sorry. And can we explore this area a little more before the professor gets back? More sitting and thinking is unhealthy at this point. It'd be better to keep moving. True. Seems safe enough to explore around here, right? Takuma! Look up right there! Oh, great. More evil. Oh, crap! Enemies are coming! Look at us! What are we gonna do? Don't hold back now! Like I said, I'm on your side here! Are you gonna fight for me, Floramon? Of course! Be relentless, everyone! Terrible timing for an attack, but it's better than being caught alone. Gotta pull through somehow. Alright, Pokemon. Show me what you can do. So you're afraid of our power, but then you want to use it for your own protection, huh? Shut up! This isn't the time for bickering. Stay focused, or you might end up dead! Let's just get this over with. That's bad. Of course, bring in the big boy. Ooh. And there's a treasure chest. And luckily, these are just, like, very simple enemies, but there's just lots of them. But yeah, poor guy. Feel sorry for poor Falcomon. That 
Let's see. Can you annihilate him? No. Yeah, just go for a smack. If we really wanted to, we can go all out. Yeah, screw it. Let's go all out. Let's go on a smacking spree. Send you here. I'm sure, let's go all the way. Just absolutely annihilation time. Hmm. Apparently, that'll be a branching choice for you, I assume. That'll de decide your final evolution. Ooh, that makes me afraid, ever so slightly. It makes me ever so slightly afraid. Go faster, enemies. Go faster unto doom. Interesting choice. Luckily, it chose to heal one that wasn't a super threat. Keep annihilating this fool. So maybe you can go after the treasure chest. Just smack it. Smack him with your big meaty claw. No, I don't want you to move. I want you to kill. Okay, you can go after it. Yeah, just go ahead and destroy. And smiggity smack this guy. Oh yeah, you have atomic blaster. I should have taken a look at that. But yes, much fear. Fear, fear, fear. All the fear. And you paralyze the dude, how dare. Yeah. Go ahead and destroy the box. Ripping net. Let's see, just to make sure. Nope, cannot talk to the enemy. Let's get up there and destroy. With another spiral flower. Go destroy the final beta mom for daring to stun the boy. Quit smacking the boy. But he has much worry all about. And because, why not? Destroy the thing as well. Why not? Come to destroy the little man for being a little man. Let's take a look at Atomic Blast. <gasps> Are you joking me?
with moderate chance of reducing your movement amount by one rank. LOL. So if you have lots of enemies, HELL YEAH! <laughs> oh boy, the depressed boy has leveled up. Fear. Looks like we managed to win. Yeah, although is it just me or were those monsters acting weird? I'm sure they were definitely different. Maybe because they're plotting something of our allies here. How many times do I have to tell you? No, absolutely not. You only need to shut your mouth. Bro, well, you're getting hurt fighting for you. Calm down, we're joined by powerful bonds and share one fate. Have you forgotten that? And that's what I thought. And about this faded partner stuff. We're shooting Lotmon faded partners. Ryung Kunemon too. I mean, it fits faded, then tell me what this fate really is. Why do they have to die like that? Answer me, Falcomon! I do not know what happened to them or why their fates played out that way. I wish I knew. For some reason, I do not. Exactly! So we're to say you won't do the same thing to us too! How do we know you're on our side? That you won't attack us as soon as we slip up. In other words, you do not trust us. Oh, you got it all wrong! I would never hurt Takuma, never! What's wrong, Miyuki? You look sad. If you're feeling sad, just ignore them. You know how they can be. Slow down, Agumon. Can you really say that's true? Yes, I can. I will always protect Takuma. I feel the same about Aoi. I want us to help her. I know you do, Labramon. I know, and that's why I'm so sorry. Don't say that, Aoi. Drop it, Kaido. You're putting everyone on edge. You're so worried about me, you should rethink your priorities. Kaido, you've said enough! And I've heard enough! I'm done here! How come on, where are you going? Somewhere far from you! If we cannot trust each other, there's no point in being together! Goodbye! Hey, Falcomon! Damn it, Minro, you cost us a valuable ally. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I went beyond the shopping district, but all I found were more ruins. I had to avoid a lot of enemies, but it's pretty much the same as our island. Ah, in any case, all I did was look. There could be things lurking out of sight. If we're done resting, I recommend heading to town to discover new things. Right, sounds like it's worth going. It's the direction Falcomon went too. Going that way would be perfect. All right, everyone, let's explore and look for Falco. Ah. Still looks bad, Takuma. What should we do? We can't give up on the search for Falcomon. Mm -hmm. What happened to Falcomon? Uh, about that. He ran off. I don't know where. Huh? You had a difference of opinion. Not really. He just took off. I see. You've been through a lot, so a disagreement would be understandable. Why is it she isn't mentioning Shuji and Lopmon or Rio and Kune by name? Game translator why? We all know what he's talking about. Speaking of which, I know things are rough, but there's something we need to talk about. We need to talk about something? What's that? Something I've been thinking about. There have been takes, tales of Kimonogami who ward off disaster and protect their masters. This sounds an awful lot like the monsters accompanying you all now. Did you call the enemies Kimonogami too? I did. The enemies are definitely Kimonogami. They may sound all powerful, but they're not gods. More like low level spirits. Though the way they exert power based on your feelings is somewhat divine, to be sure. Right. Could you explain that again in layman's terms? Well, is there something particular you'd like to know about? Ask me anything you like. That might make things easier to explain. Uh, let's see. Okay, why do some attack and some don't? Good question. That's because Kibonagami reflect their master's hearts. Huh? It's described in an ancient mystical text. Kimonagami are like mirrors. Kimonagami transform based on the feelings of their partners. A pure-minded master leads to clarity, while instability causes complications. Your monster's evolution represents your own internal state. Our internal state. So Agumon is a reflection of how I feel. Maybe I should take this chance to ask something too. 
I'm curious about one thing he said, how our feelings transform them. If Agumon reflects my feelings, then what does the professor think of him? I will save, just to be safe. I will... How about Agumon? Agumon did transform that one time, so that reflected my inner state? How does Agumon seem to you, Professor? It would be wrong to say anything unfounded, but based on my impression alone, I feel he's still in a developmental stage. So he's still developing. He may have some latent abilities that have yet to emerge. Yes, I can feel it. Oh, this dance getting kind of creepy, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Agumon. Still not fully developed, so if I grow on the inside, he might transform too? Should a Kimonogami be mishandled, their master will ultimately pay the price. The inner state of the human they protect, their partner. This is what determines the fate of each Kimonogami and human pair. So my inner state determines Agumon's future? But why are we bound together like this in the first place? I'm sorry, but that is a question I cannot answer. Okay. But there must be a reason why we all ended up at the shrine, right? Most likely, yes. That doesn't explain everything, however. The two weirdos who make no sense! The professor staring at Miyuki and Haru. Is something wrong with them? Yes, yeah, so going to the shrine wasn't all my fault. Right, you didn't cause this, Mew. Yeah! If instability makes them change, that means that when I did Falcomon... Are you okay, Minoru? Takuma, I think... You wanna go search for Falcomon? Yeah, I said some pretty mean stuff. According to the Professor Kimonogami, attacking humans is their partner's fault. So all my negative feelings and words changed him for the worse? That means if he evolves into something bad, it's because of my own issues. He didn't do anything wrong, but he had to put up with my cruelty. I was scared of him, but he kept helping me anyway. How can I ever face him again? Just thinking that my problems could make him turn into something bad makes me sick. I don't think it's too late. You can still make up with Falcomon. Hopefully! Falcomon will be so happy! I'll help too! <laughs> me too, me too! Let's all look for Falcomon! Thanks, guys. I'm coming, Falcomon. Exploration! So yay, Mineru came around in the end, thanks to Professor Man. Does that mean that if I talk to the professor, that I could have gotten information early and perhaps... <laughs> Pain and misery. We're not gonna go there that fast. We'll hang out with Mew. Just go around everywhere. Probably save. A lot. Cause paranoia, paranoia, everybody in this world is coming to eat me! Literally, if you treat them badly enough. But yeah, anyone with a brain could have seen what was going on. But no, it's just like, ah, we have to be paranoid. Wah. Talk to Siakaman. Hey Takuma, what's Kaido up to? He was over by the apartment, so want me to call over, uh, call him over to you? Oh no, that's okay. You'll get mad if I do that. I just, I figured I could keep tabs on him. They are a brother and sister after all. You mean from you? Yeah, he always, excuse me? Yeah, he always grills her when she's around. I give him wanting to scold her if he's worried. It's just the opposite effect if he's annoying about it. Siakamon's so getting better and better at handling Mew and Kaido's dynamic. And talk to Mew. Have you thought of any way to get Minoru and Falcomon back together? Besides doubling down on efforts to persuade them, not a thing. Falcomon's been through a lot of pain. I can't imagine he'll just snap right back. I agree. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Seeing I don't like that, or stop, or I'm sorry, or forgive me. It's hard to believe in that sort of thing, or to get people to believe in it. Ew, she's got a faraway look in her eyes. I wonder if she's thinking of something. Should I even ask? I get the feeling I'll make her cry if I respond poorly. This is my specialty. Making little girls cry? I'd say it starts with you. It's hard, but you can't expect the other person to believe it if you don't believe it first. 
I have to believe first, but I didn't do anything wrong. It's not like I didn't believe them anyway, but... Crap, the dam's about to burst. It's okay, Mew, I believe in you. Really? You betcha. Yeah, of course, I'm glad to hear it. I'll always tell you exactly what's on my mind, okay? Yeah, that's right, we're best buddies to the end. I'm not good with these people. But it does start with you. Hmm. Maybe this is my specialty? Believing others is totally my specialty. Yeah, I can see that about you, Takuma. Agumon is proof enough. <laughs> Takuma is amazing. Don't you go on counting Mew out. She's believing in me even though it's such a tough thing to do. And I trust her back. I'll use everything I got to protect her. You mean it, Siakumon? You... Oh, oh, I thought it was going to be another you betcha. Of course I do. I always tell you exactly what's on my mind, okay? Interesting. Got a positive reaction, but not an affinity up. Believing is hard, isn't it? It's hard to believe, yeah. Not telling what real intentions lie behind someone's words. It's a possibility you can't accept their words at face value. <laughs> Yeah, some people apologize after the fact, even though they're not sorry at all. Human relationships are stupid. We're not all humans out here, you know. <laughs> we got personalities of our own, too, so what's the difference? And you, I might not need to tell you any at this point. I'll always tell you exactly what's on my mind, okay? Yeah, and that's right. We're best buddies to the end. Okay, so y'all come on. Let's take a look inside those bushes next. Don't go too far. There's no guarantee we're alone out here. I got it already. Come on, Siakuman. And at least she does have Siakuman. We should go too, Agumon. Yeah, be safe, you two. Oh, come on, you don't go running off ahead. Oh, great. Why? She don't yelp it like that all of a sudden. So, are you gonna get an ultimate too? Bad guys, meanies, those jerks again! In a place like this, stay back, Mew! So everybody is getting ultimate except Kaito and Minoru. LOL. Oh no, it's just combat time! Okie dokie. Uh, I'm gonna level up uh, Floramon a bit. Because I feel like Floramon. I feel like Floramon is uh, a bit safer of a bet. Even though that monstrosity is a monstrosity monstrosity. I feel safe doing that. Jerk. Luckily, we have ultimate power. Here I thought we were gonna get another ultimate evolution. But no, it was just a random attack. Spiral flower, die. <laughs> yeah, just I'm it just my brain is in a constant loop of fear, 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 fear. How dare you heal the bastard? Next turn should be able to move and get the thing. I'm just gonna block you in. I'm not even gonna attack you. Haha! -ha. You missed, sucker! Hmm. I'm just gonna attack it. Then I will move. Yes, heal me. Heal the good person. I will kill, so we'll go ahead and do it. I need to get out of the way so I can get to that treasure chest. More turtling up, because I want that treasure chest. Mm. 
let's see. Yep, just one health. Speed charge, even though I'm never going to use it. And now time for Annihilation. Goodbye. Although I just realized that that is a very long range move. It is a four. Technically, it's not in a square, but it's kind of it's like a four diamond. And we got crystals. Yay. But no me ultimate evolution. Woohoo, we did it. You all right, Mew? You know it. No one can stand up to a pair like us. Man, Kaido's such a dummy, isn't he? He could be such a meanie when he gets an awesome critter like you guys with him. If he has time to care about me, he should give half of that caring to Drachmon. Seriously, he's helpful and decisive, but it's a wasted on his personality. <laughs> you said it. I'm glad I got you, Siakuman. It's so great that we can talk like this. Oh, for sure. I feel the same way. Your gears are always turning, so you're fun to talk to. Let's keep talking about all the things. Ghost stories, urban legends, you name it. Oh, boy, don't you have any cuter things to talk about? <laughs> I hope that's not a, oh, you need a greater affinity with Mew for her to... Deep woods, woods near city. Deep woods, woods near city, and... Don't think anybody else moved around, maybe? I think they did. Let's go talk to Kaido. Try to raise up his affinity. Fear. 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 <laughs> that is just in my brain. Fear. Bicycle. The frame is rusted and all the air is out of the tires. Maybe I could ride it? I could try to fix the tires if I found an air pump. Ah, shoot. It's locked and the lock is rusted shut. I won't be able to move this. Old car! You don't really see cars like this anymore. It's a bit of an older model. Hey, Drachman. Is it possible this is the enemy's base? You can see the road from high places. Plenty of rooms. Looks easy enough to live here. Still, as a base, it's full of weak points. It may be tall, but the view ain't great. Plus, the rooms are cramped. Try and imagine some big brutes shacking up in a tiny room like this. Uh, that's a bit out there. It's fine if they're just living here, but it ain't convenient for planning anything. So that means this isn't the enemy base? Probably not. More likely it's a place to look for traces than the human enemy base, I figure. I bet Drachman's right. Traces, huh? We should take a close look around then. Stay alert, yo. Can't let our guards down here. If that's what my fated partner wants, then I guess I gotta. You're exaggerating. Enough of all the fate crap. I've thought about this for a while, Kaido. Are you being a bit harsh with your words? Takuma. It's like you're taking advantage of Drachman's temper, or lack thereof. I can say it sits well with me when I see it. We've got our own way of doing things, pal. You may be right, but it just makes Drachman sad. Should I keep going here? I could tell Kaido to ease up when he talks to Drachman, or maybe I should back off, leave this to the two of them. I don't think I should leave it to them. Keep lecturing him! I'm gonna be your Kaito. Just because you're anxious doesn't mean you're allowed to hurt someone. Remember what the professor said? If the Kimonogamy evolved with unstable feelings, Dragman's gonna attack me? Is that what you want to say? Exactly. If that happens, you won't be able to protect Mew. Hmm, you got a point there. You've opened my eyes, man. I'm gonna talk of Kaito. Mano a mano. Sounds like a plan. Let's get out of here. Interesting. But we didn't get in... I fear. I'm sure that's going to happen either way. But I should probably let him talk to him himself. Ask Drachman himself. But it went the beep. Drachman, if it hurts, then you should say something. It's between you two, so it better came if it came from you. My... my feelings... The way that is, he smiles after it is freaking. The way it also goes ding. So maybe staying silent? I don't know. I fear. This is their problem, so ultimately there's nothing else I can say. 
Sorry, Takuma. I know you're just trying to look out for me. You've opened my eyes, man. I'm gonna talk to Kaido Mano a Mano. Yeah, just feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. So, what do you want to talk about? Don't you think you're being too so what? Excuse me? Who's being soft? You did the same thing Minoru did. Worse, actually, since you ain't showing no remorse. You're trying to pick a fight? You bet I am, and you're making it easy as pie. If you think I'm sticking to you because of fate or whatever, you couldn't be more wrong. You're saying you're gonna sell us down the river? Don't you think you'll get away clean? It might just turn out that way. I ain't in no mood to take this guff another second. Uh, fine by me. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast, why don't you? Shit, Drachmon, behind you! You don't gotta tell me! Fine, truce for now! Follow me! That's my line. Get your ass in gear! Their... Pers their thing is weird. But it's just like, why? Why can't you just be good people? I'll go here and just... Well, I can't do, uh... Oh, but we do do major damage, so yay. Either way. I got another crystal. Hell yeah. So this is another, like, similar to Siakomans, where... Uh, is it meant to parallel? I feel like it's meant to parallel. Where Siakuman was like, didn't digivolve, but still like, was on good terms, whereas doesn't digivolve, but is kind of on bad terms. Me, big fear. Why do you have so much range? I'm gonna go ahead and try and get rid of that thing. You are of no good. Die. And defense there. That's too far away for a needle spray. So those two can probably beat up that one while War Growlmon lays the beat down on the other one. Man, eh, screw it. I think I'll kill you. The Tomer Blaster! And I didn't even slow down. You're in for a big trouble now. Yeah, kill time. But I'm still paranoid. Because what is that all about? My Done. All taken care of. There weren't any of that many to begin with. Think they were a couple of scouts? Maybe they showed up to stop us from fighting. The stars don't just align like that, man. Anyways, seems you're back to your old self. I ain't heard that foul mouth on you in ages. Oh me, oh my, but I wonder who might have been raining on my parade this whole time. Ha. <sighs> Keep it up. You better not betray me. When it comes to a fight, ain't no one a better match for me than your ugly ass. So if you say you ain't gonna be a traitor, I guess I can trust you. Maybe. But if you do turn on us, you would better expect a knuckle sandwich. Kaido, you little... <laughs> well, we'll see if I even feel it. That soft little fist of yours, you pushover. Oh, I can give you a sample now if you keep that talk up. Oh, excuse me? Back in that fight, I felt it, man. I really do want to protect you, Kaido. I get it. All the trash you talk is trying to cope with feelings that freak you out. 
Sorry I can't always pick up what you're putting down. I'll do better next time. You pot-headed little pushover, you. <laughs> Shut up and give me some skin. <laughs> what? What is that even supposed to mean? Oh, I, oh yeah, like, high five. I get it now. And now they're... <gasps> oh, does that mean that I missed out on my chance for Bibbidi Bop? Huh, I think that's Kaido and Drachmon over there. That's a scary look on your face. Did something happen? You get it, don't you? My muse being all pissy with you? Brush your teeth, this. Stay warm, that. What do you expect babying her like that? Shut up. I don't need you to tell me my business. Well, you ain't wrong about that. I don't know what's up with you guys. You won't tell me a dang thing after all. I just want, don't want to see it get all butthurt when she gives you the cold shoulder. I ain't butthurt. You want to act tough, act tough. I know a hurt butt when I see one. Uh, then let me tell you this much. I ain't butting into Mew's business to get her to like me. I want to protect her, and that's a fact. Wait, you're saying you don't care if she can't stand you after all that? I mean, I don't want her to hate me for no reason or nothing. I do better if I do whatever it takes for her, even if I gotta play the bad guy. She can say I'm annoying and hate my guts if she gets a peaceful life out of it. Kaido, you really does worry about her. Still, I get the feeling his intentions aren't getting through to Mew. Is he really all that all right with that? If he told her all this, I'm sure she'd get it. Uh, what the? Takuma, yo, behind you! Damn, it's the enemy! Takuma, get behind us here! Yeah, you got it. Let's do this, Drakmon. I hear you loud and clear. Let's mop the floor with these jokers! So this is the evolution forest, apparently. Hey, Drakmon! I thought you said you were gonna mop the floor or something! Ish, these guys ain't making it as easy as I thought they would! I think you're... You think saying sorry is gonna make a difference here? Damn, if only I had more power. At this rate, I'm gonna protect Mew, much less my own skin. And what are you gonna do about it? Friggin' what? You don't got the power, so you're just gonna give up or what? That ain't funny, even as a joke. No way I'm gonna give up. I'll protect Mew, and I'll grab hold of any power I can do to do that. <laughs> That's a risky way of thinking. Still, I like your spirit. Kaido! <laughs> Drugmon! Wait, don't tell me! Kaido, if that's... if your heart's the real deal, if those feelings, wanting to protect the girl you hold dear, are the real deal, then I got an answer in kind. Wah! Hell yeah. Their shit has been rectified. They are on good terms! Yes! Yes! Meotismon, hell yeah! I have the perfect voice for you. Um. That form, what happened to you? We can talk later. Now, let's try that again. Behold the new power you've grasped. The power of Meotismon. Hell yeah! Good guy, my Otis Mon! <laughs> Let's go and destroy these worthless fools. And is he a floating movement? <laughs> you missed! I'm going to move over here now. In fact, let's see your stats. Nope, he's still a walking type when he's clearly floating. Night Raid! Uh, but I- oh, oh, it is the... Crimson Wing. <laughs> Drachmon, you evolved in response to Kaido, didn't you? Yes, my Otis Mom. That is my new name. His desire to protect Mew caused me to reach this new stage. My desire to protect her? Yes, from the bottom of your heart, and toward that end, you sought power. Your wish is pure and unclouded. A rare... Rare? No. A raw desire for power to protect and to live. That genuine longing transformed into genuine power, provoking my evolution. I get it. I got my hands on a power stronger than I've ever had. Indeed, 
but word of warning. Use it improperly and my power will surely rebound back onto you. Do not forget the true desire in your heart. The heck am I going to forget that for? What I want is simple. To protect Mew. That's the long and short of it. Hm. Very well, then. I shall watch over the path you tread going forward. And then I'll bring that power of yours to bear. You best do your job to the letter, though. Great, a slave driver. And this should be interesting. Kaido's acting pretty high and mighty, considering this guy evolved for him. Takuma's port... Takuma's portrait and name are not shown for this line! <laughs> Why is that there? That's hilarious! <laughs> that is hilarious. Aside to the audience. And since that's the evolution for us, give us another ultimate, baby! Hey, I think that's Mew and Siakamon over there. But, uh, huh, something's not right. I shouldn't eavesdrop, but Mew seemed pretty lost in thought last time we met here. I admit I'm curious. I'm pretty worried. I don't know what I'm going to do when we all go back. Mew? Why's that? Because that'll mean I have to say goodbye to you, Siakamon. I'll be all alone again. That's not true. You'll have your brother. Right, I'll have Kaido, because he's the only one who even... Shh, Mew, that's enough. Hey, let me finish after all I... Be quiet, there's someone else nearby. Who's there? Show yourself. Ah, uh, nuts. Did they notice me? Nope. This is like the third time. Oh, no, Sia, come on. I figured they'd be around. Enough talk. Let's take them down. Not just me, but I can't. It's okay, Mew. I promise. I promise I'll protect you. They're so tough. Siakumon, oh no, we're going to lose. What could I, should I, what can I do? I knew I couldn't. K Kaido, no, I keep relying on, I can't keep relying on Kaido forever. Still, I need to do something. What can I do? What can I do? Oh, I feel so frustrated and confused. Don't panic, Mew. You gotta keep calm. Siakumon, I'm sorry, you're right. If I freak out here, I'm just making things harder for you. Just whining won't help us out in a mess like this. I can't stand hold up in my s can't stay hold up in my shell. I've got to stand up for myself. Look to the future. Is that why your Digimon is a Siakomon? It's meant to be like a parallel of who you are. And if I don't know what to do, I just need to struggle that much harder. Otherwise, I'll be stuck like this forever. Huh? Yeah. <sighs> Siakomon, what's wrong? I is it happening again? You're going to change shape again? Mew, that intense desire to look ahead, even in the face of pain and struggle. It's swirling around inside me. Mew, I'm gonna... <laughs> Whoa! A very intense digivolution. Here we go. What are you going to turn into? Hmm, not immediately recognize... Ooh! Definitely haven't seen you before. A pirate mermaid. Cool. You look so different. Uh, Mew, uh, sorry that took so long. Now it's time for us to strike back. I'm going to give it this all I've got. Is this the Digimon version of uh, the Pokemon starter thing where Pokemon people are like, stay on the ground, stay on all fours to like the animalistic Digimon, uh, animalistic Digimon in the Pokemon game. But then in a Digimon, maybe it's the same thing. Stop becoming human. Stop becoming human. And let's see. Passive, captivating voice makes it easier for allies to provide battle backup and increases its effects by two ranks. Northern Cross Bomber. Ooh. Deals non-elemental damage to targets with a low chance of putting them to sleep. Smack him. <laughs> or just crit him, sure. Yes, we won. But I am beat. Ooh. Siako, Mon, this is you, isn't it? Uh, Mew, all right. You wouldn't know, would you? <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you again, Mew. My new name is Mermaymon. Mermaymon? That's right. I was able to take this form because of how you changed. 
How I changed? What do you mean? <laughs> well, basically, how now you're that much closer to being an adult. Me, an adult? Wait, for real? Yes, indeed. That's why I'm here. You see, I have more confidence. If that's true, then I'm super happy. Anyway, I'm excited to keep being your friend together forever, right? Yeah. You know, that would be... <laughs> so are you just going to stand there forever, Takuma? Oh, uh, you noticed me, huh? Sheesh, of course I did, peeping at us from that tree like that. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to snoop, really. Well, I don't mind if it's you, I guess. Still, you better not say anything to Kaido. Huh? Why not? If he knew I fought against such a tough enemy, I'd never hear the end of it. It's got a point. But I do like the idea of that Digimon, like, Digivolve in response to their partner. Like, changing themselves. Like, I like that idea a lot. Like, 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 like. I like that, like. Let's see. Definitely need to give you items now. Deals not with a high chance of sealing targets. Let's see. Well, considering that, probably should give you that. Let's see. What other items can I give you? Stirring fire, anti-fire, anti-light, unsealing light, anti-paralysis, vexing. That gives taunt, Aegis crystal. Maybe, but I prefer, like, actual health. Learning, beloved crystal, Alashi skill, stamina. I'm going to give you a stamina. I'll keep you like that. So I can change... Okay, let's go to the residential ruins. Ah, that's why the thingy popped up. Because, technically, I did the conversation with Mew that added the area and bumped these down, and that's why things felt wonky. There's something here. I can feel it. Oh, no, it's a Numamon. Big bandage. And lots of broken, 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 broken. Lots of broken, broken, broken. Who broke all this glass? Oh boy, a fight. We're gonna fight that shadow. Annihilate all fools in our way. Is that a Gatoman? It's a Gatoman! Me want Gatoman, even though there are chan- Oh yeah, Edgewoman is an ultimate level. Oh fuck. I'll put Labramon over here to cover these two. Start battle. Like, I just want a Gatomon. Because, let's see. And there's another fucking treasure chest all the way out here. Alright, so we have two ultimates. And two champions. And can't talk. Let's see. How far can you go? Let's see. Should probably try and grab you. What kind of human are you? My own kind of human. Yeah. Hmm, how interesting. Are their bonds stronger than the family? There must be. Yeah. Could this meeting be fate? By the way, why exactly are you here? I was guided here. Yeah. There's no question you are our comrades bound by a strong bond. Yeah. What is your wish? Join me! Be my friend! Damn it, Magnamon! Bound by fate immediately runs away. Let's try to get the Anjuwamon. But I want the Gondomon, but we can worry about that later. 
Facing a strong opponent sure gets your heart racing, doesn't it? <laughs> so exciting! <laughs> doesn't the tranquil morning air just get your motor running? Yeah, it's refreshing. I may, I may seem tough, but I actually love to grow flowers. Is that strange? Hmm. I think it fits. <laughs> you, you wanted something, didn't you? Go ahead, try me. Be my friend! God damn it! It's a 33% chance! Also, not going to, uh... Rather fitting that a Myotismon comes into contact with the Gotham Monomose. <laughs> Counterattack, nerd. We'll keep, uh, Anjumon... ...busy. Unless he kills himself. With counterattacks. You know, that kind of is a... wonky implementation. Or I could try to get the Angemon... Angemon... back off. Let's try and add him to my team. It's better to take some sort of action than just sit idly by and worry. I'll do the same! What kind of human are you? My own kind. Do you change? Yeah. Hmm. He apparently likes that more as a Magna Angemon. By the way, why exactly are you here? I'm trying to get home. Apparently he doesn't like that. Weird little man. That's the wrong way. Me fool. Let's try and get the God of Don't you think every day is just so boring? Well, let's go do something. <laughs> Stalk meow. Good. Try guessing what I'm thinking of you. Hm, that I'm easy going? God damn it. I've lost the Gatomon. I trust you. Damn it, if only I did better. And now the Gatomon is insanely angry. Well, time for you to die. The stock sound effects are kind of hilarious to me. We should all just try and head towards the box. Just ignore him. He does not matter at all. I thought that was my move for a moment. How dare you punch my mermaid. Let's see. Do I have the range? I do not have the range. We'll get that treasure chest, I swear it. Slowly but surely. Alright, you get to smiggity smack it. Destroy! Unsealing light.
Look at all the enemies coming to eat you, Anjamam. You fool! Really? You're going for him? Lol. Oh, my bad. You decided to turn that way. You fool! Hilarious, I did better with the ultimates. But then I still didn't get them on my side. But I got some good things, including a salve pack. And now I'm going to have to take a look at the free battle. Free battle, please. Free battle does not have what I want. Well, let's go talk to Owie and Labramon. Yes, Owie, should I say something to her? There's a doll. Evil doll. Takuma. Agma, what's up? You look kind of down. We turn all weird when human children are upset, right? And the professor said that got me upset wouldn't affect anything, right? I think that's true. But either way, if you're upset, I want to talk about it, man. I'm okay. It's not like anything bad happened, you know. It's just I started thinking, what if I hurt you, Takuma? It just popped into my head, that's all. And that made you start worrying? Yeah, I know you don't treat me like a bad guy or anything. I know you trust me. There's no way I wouldn't. Hakuman looks so miserable and he's trying so hard to explain himself. Was he trying to hide how upset he was? Maybe he thought talking about it was bad, like it meant that he didn't trust me? If that's the case, then this won't be an easy issue to solve. I should face Agumon straight up to take away his anxiety. Don't hide your anxiety to me, Agumon. I trust you. You don't have to hide it when you're upset, Agumon. You sure? But I don't want to fight like the others do. It won't go that way for us. We trust in each other, after all. You're always saving me in battles, aren't you? So I want you to help. So I want to help you whenever you're in a bind too. Give and give and take, you know. Mm, Takuma, thanks a bunch. That means I got nothing to worry about, huh? Agumon, watch out, Takuma. In here, in my in front of my salad. You made my, all my worries disappear, Takuma. So now I'm gonna beat up all these bad guys trying to hurt you. What, are you gonna go beyond ultimate already? You're gonna go mega? Hmm, I can bring two. Definitely you, and I'd say you. Start of the battle! Man, you look like a... a ripoff. Be gone, ripoffs. The real Digimon are here. I'm gonna go ahead and ultimate. Because why not? Wrong. I'm just gonna come down here so I can destroy the thing. Giga Destroyer, bye bye. Get out of here. We're still loving this game. But God, is it putting me into paranoia? It's just like, oh God, please, please don't. Please. I want things to turn out good. Wrong way, me fool. Want to stand beside the boy. And I'll just come back here, guard the rear. Well, that's rude. Kind of surprised they didn't move up more. Like this. 
very rude. Now I'm gonna have to kill you all. Die. You two take care of that one. This one is mine. Annihilate him. Booyah. <laughs> Lol. Your triple attack triple did shit. And because we don't do this nearly enough, let's talk. And now I'm just gonna stab you in the side with my big meaty claw. Giant and large. More stat ups, I need to use them. Takuma, I finished them off good! Yeah, it worked out pretty well, given it was just the two of us. <laughs> That's all thanks to you, Takuma. Agamon sure looks happy. Feels a little consoling, like consoling a little kid after they had a scary dream. Kind of embarrassing. If Agamon's a reflection of my heart, then his sudden anxiety might have been my own. Humans tend to make each other anxious. So I'll be careful not to overthink myself. No. Don't tell me. Okay, good. That didn't move him. It was just kind of funny. I go in there. I talk to Agumon. We get f fought in there. Go ahead and scan that. It'll be like another shadow that kicks us to the window. I have to enter this place a third time. Rotary phone. A rotary phone. I've seen one on TV, but this looks like the first one I've seen in real life. This is this is fun, Takuma. You can spin and spin this part and it goes back where it started. Well, it'd be nice if the phone actually connected to someone. TV! Old box set. This is one of those cathode ray tube TVs. The screen is so small and it's so bulky. A phase, a, a phase, I say. A vase, a photo frame. I never thought you could pl uh, place these things on top of a television. Now that's cool. That's cool that they actually bring that up here. Once I started imagining what kind of humans lived here, I can't bring myself to stop. Traces of humans living here. I get it. It feels a bit suffocating in here. Just like the shopping district, it's a tad more out of date than things in our world. And owie. I'm telling you, you worry too much, Owie. I don't want to see you like that. Yes, I know. Still, I can't help but think... What am I giving back to you, Labramon? You do practically everything for me. In fights, during conversations... So you're still worried about that stuff. I'm sorry, I try not to think about it, but... That just makes me think even harder. Are you sure you're not just putting up with me? You suffer through so much for my sake. You're overthinking this, Owie. She's really all cut up in this. Got a bad feeling all this middle strain won't be good for her. What can I do to get Owie to relax? Maybe Labramon could lend me a hand. Go ahead and save out of paranoia. Paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. What does Labramon want? Hey, Owie, what do you think Labramon would like you to do? Huh? What she'd like me to do? Yeah, you said that you thought she might be putting up with you. Labramon herself is saying you're overthinking things, right? Yeah, I'm not putting up with anything. I'm not lying for your sake either. Since the day we met, I haven't hid a single thing from you, Owie. I'm happy you can depend on me from the bottom of my heart. Can't you see that? You know, Owie, Minoru changed after he mustered up some courage. He did? Minoru gave in to his anxiety and ended up saying some awful things. But he regrets it and is trying to start over, to restore their bond through trust. Through trust. You should believe in Labramon a little more. I'll think about it. Sure, go for it. In the meantime, I'd better be going. We have to look for Falcomon after all. Bye-bye, Owie. Later, Labramon. Yeah, see you two later. I think Takuma's right, Owie. I wish you'd trust what I'd say. 
I don't tell lies or misrepresent myself for your sake. My wish is to fight by your side. I want to get back, uh, get you back to your world. Labramon. Wake this feeling. What? But you already ultimated. Are there enemies nearby right after Takuma and Agumon left? Don't worry. I'll protect you all by myself. You'll see. I'm really doing my best for your sake, Aoi. I'll get you to see that for yourself. So we're just getting more, like, surprise attacks. Then again, this also happened for... You know, this is kind of interesting because it did happen before with, uh... Bibbidi Bop. Uh, Kaito and, uh... Drachmon. Before they reconciled. So this feels a bit out of place in a way. Also, I really like that despite looking kind of dark and grim-ish, that Cerberusmon is very, like, a uh, bop bop what's the word? Uh, it's still a, uh, a, a pure type, a vaccine. It's still a vaccine type. <laughs> Still hilarious. Well, actually, no, not really. Technically, her true self is a pearl. And then becomes a mermaid, so not terribly out of whack. Go ahead and smack you because I can. I'm coming for you. Interesting point of attack. And now I'm going to attack you from behind. That shouldn't affect my guys, hopefully. Especially, thank you for not killing my team. Come fight, you fool! Fight me! And you dare heal this heathen. Go ahead and kill it, because why not? It's not doing much for me. I can come over here and smack it. Huzzah! Go for the big slaps. Hell yeah! Big slaps. Big slaps. With an anchor. Anti-confusion, anti-sealing, and grand rock. Still kind of funny that it all happened within a room, but it was outside. Guess it's like, oh, we knock him outside, then come back in. Labramon, thank goodness you won. See, just like I said, I protected you and all by my lonesome. I don't tell lies, Owie, so go on, believe in what I say. Yeah, yes, that's really true, isn't it? You always speak so kindly to me and you fit me so well. I wasn't sure if I could really trust in that. The truth is, the one I couldn't trust was myself. Owie. I'll change, too. I want to treat myself the way you treat me. I hope you stick by my side, Labramon. Well, yeah, of course. Again, that was just, like, exactly like the thing that happened before. I love that it's also called A Certain Room. What does that even mean? 
And we'll finish up with a probably ambush to Saki. So yeah. Tricycle for kids. I bet you could ride it, Agumon. You're right. How do you ride one of these? I'll show you if we have time later. We can practice together. Hilarious and an adorable visual. Ah, this car only has three wheels. Yeah, is that unusual? I've never seen one, at least. Maybe models like this were more common in the past. I love the little things that are showing, like, old technology here. Now let's talk to Floramon. Not a lot of sunlight in these apartments, is there? You noticed, huh? Is it because you're like a plant, Floramon? Well, I can say that I feel way better when I can bathe my body in sunlight. But it's not like I'm completely made of vegetation. Hmm, there's so much we don't know about you, Kimonogami. There must be things like this, like or dislike, based on the ecosystem. It seems like they didn't know about bad evolutions until the professor told them. We clearly have a lot to learn about Kimonogami. Then talk to Saki. Hey, Saki, did you find anything? Yeah. Well, don't scare me like that! Did I take you by surprise? Heck yeah, you did. How do you know I'd react to some uh, snow? How do you react? Well, how do you think I'd react if someone snuck up on me like that? Sorry, sorry. I didn't think you'd get so scared. Of course I would. Something could kill me in the blink of an eye in here. That isn't going to happen, Saki. I'm here to protect you. Even if you say that. Hey, don't tell me you're still scared of me, are you? Yeah, sorry. I'm honestly still scared. I mean, you have enough strength in that little body to kill a man. Saki... Saki's anxiety and her cold treatment of Florimon both stem from her fear. Still, if she can overcome that fear, then maybe they can open up to each other again. For that end, I should appease Saki, or maybe persuade? What can I say? Saki always acts on feelings. Maybe I should appeal to that instead of using logic. I thought they were good, because they got to ultimate. I feel bad for Florimon. I feel bad for Florimon feel bad? She doesn't want to scare you, Saki, but she has no control over the fact that she does. I know you're anxious, but acting cold is just going to hurt her. Yeah, I mean I know that much, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Florimon? Florimon, I'm really sorry for being so scared of you before. When I saw that, I wasn't sure whether I could still trust you or not. I mean, Lopmon used to be so cute. How did that happen? I'm not sure, but I could tell the voice in his heart has gotten really quiet. It's hard to put into words. It's something that we just understand naturally. But unless we and our partners both trust each other, our hearts... They die. Your hearts... die? I'm so sorry, Florimon. I can't believe I almost killed you! Saki, why are you so shaken up? Of course I am. I mean, you'll die, won't you? Just because I don't want to die, did I have to kill you, Florimon? That's just wrong! I see, Saki is not just scared of herself dying. She doesn't want any of her friends to die either. I think she's let some of the tension out of her shoulders. You're right. Come on. Let's go, Agumon. I don't think those two need us to make up now. Yeah, I agree. And now they're going to get attacked. Or aren't they? I really don't get it, but I hate the idea of saying goodbye so suddenly. I also don't want to label someone bad when I don't know anything about them. More than anything, I can't stand the idea of others disappearing because of me. Jeez, tell something you can stand. Still, all those things seem like real possibilities. I don't know what to do. Don't worry, none of those things will come to pass. There's always a chance I'll hurt you, Saki, but I'll do everything I can to prevent that. Florimon. Huh, I guess Takuma and Agumon left. Surprise! Florimon, we got enemies! Hide behind you, Saki! Like, I do like the character stuff that goes on between, like, the humans and the Digimon. The fact that that's actually, like, going on is pretty cool. It's just, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts so much. I want them to be happy. Oh, fuck it. They go fierce. Let's go ahead and digivolve and start attacking that one on the right. He exposed his flank. 
してください。ナイトレイン。ナムナムナム、Your very soul is mine. What is the dwarf treasure chest doing here? Well, eh, that's not where I put you. I put you there, silly bumpkin. Mature enlightenment slab. Huzzah! Love that. For a moment, I thought that was going to be the、uh, Kiwi Mon. I was gonna get angry. It was like, move, damn you! I think I can actually just stay here. I can just stay here and slap you. Slap chop! And I'm gonna move away. Hee hee hee. Aren't I adorable? And I'm gonna come up and、uh, super slap you. My positioning is terrible, I know. Luckily, this is against nobody. How dare you go for the ass? And then the sunflower comes up and says, You've been hitting my friend's ass? And、uh, kills. Yeah, because it's just like, due to the fact that all the other times that. Digimon and humans have died was because the, the tamer and the Digimon fought. Get scared, I do. They're all gone. Yeah, we should be safe now. All thanks to you telling me the enemy's approaching. But I didn't do anything. I just noticed them coming, so I told you. Thank goodness. Power really does scare me, Florimon. If you ever turned it on me, I'd be dead. Still, I don't think you would do that to me. Probably. After all, you just protected me all on your own. I can't change the fact that I have scary power. All I can do is promise that I'll never turn this power on you, Saki. I can only ask you to trust me. So if you do, I'm super happy about it. Thanks, Saki. Nice, honest communication! Alright, we did that, we did that. And. I think I'm actually gonna stop here. Mainly because, inevitably, if we get on the story stuff, like, if we go there, story stuff is gonna start rampaging. And the moment that story stuff starts rampaging, I, there's no way I can stop it. But I think this is at a good stopping point. Everybody else is kind of reconciling their emotions. Aoi kind of doubted Labramon for a moment and feels bad about it, and they promise each other to do better. Saki and Floramon, that's a cool dynamic where、so、Saki comes out and says, Your power scares me and you can kill me, but I've come to really accept that you would never do that. So while I am scared, I still trust you and care for you. And Floramon is like, Like, I am sad that my power scares you, but I promise you I'll never hurt you. And, hey, even Kaito and Drachman、uh, reconciled a bit. Which is cool. They reconcile. Whereas, like, they did kind of fight. But they weren't, like, cruel and they, like, accepted. Why is it red now? 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 Is it. I'm just going to say, please just be that it was because, oh, we ended the game. That's probably it. At every other time that I went back to the main menu, it was because it was the morning of a brand new day. So it was probably just, oh, morning lighting, and this is evening lighting. And it's just like, oh, it represents where you are in the game currently by time. 
but... Yeah, utterly horrifying that Minoru kind of cracked and was becoming Shuji 2.0. But at least uh, the professor was there to really, like, give us some information and stuff. But, again, I still don't understand what the deal of Haru and Miyuki is. And, like, their story is they were, so at some time, Haru and Miyuki were in the digital world, in the prologue. They had a Gabumon and a Rinamon there to defend them. And with the memory thing of Garurumon, it is basically confirmed that Gabumon was Haru's Digimon, or Kimonagami. Kind of hilarious that we've gone through this entire game and nobody has said the word Digimon. I find that kind of hilarious. Even the Digimon themselves don't seem to know what they are. Or at least they don't care. They're like, oh, we have, I have a name but they don't care about the title of their species. Buddy, but but back to the thoughts. Yeah, Gabumon was for Haru, Rinamon was for Miyuki. Miyuki was taken by the hands, but it could have been that because Miyuki still had fight left in her, she wasn't immediately eaten by the Kinzoku or whatever they were called, and Haru was thrown out into a portal. But Haru is here. Haru is here. Rinamon is defending them. We only saw Rinamon once last time. And I want to say that Rinamon is Haru using an illusion. Or rather, Haru is Rinamon in an illusion. That's why, Rin, like, Haru is so much more serious compared to what he, uh, Haru used to be, like, with that short snippet that we saw of, like, that's another thing, like, there's just so many things about Haru and Miyuki that just don't make sense! Because we saw, like, a memory of, well, I guess it kind of makes sense because we are getting other people's memories injected into our head. So maybe it kind of makes sense that we saw Miyuki and Haru's memories of the first time they went to the amusement park. And it could be that whatever Miyuki went through, she, uh, like, even though she survived, she was still maybe partially taken by the digital world. So that she's still alive, but uh, but parts of her are still kind of missing. And again, that doesn't also explain why we, like, we're in the real world. And we saw Miyuki singing a song to Haru. And that if Haru plays the piano, Miyuki will sing. Apparently. But yeah. It's just, Haru went through a portal, Miyuki was taken by the hands. But yeah, it just, I'm just trying to think, because uh, for a moment there's like, what if Miyuki is dead and Rinamon is like using an illusion? But no, that wouldn't make sense because they've been separated. And also if Miyuki was dead, Rinamon would have gone too. It's just... I don't know their deal. My still leading theory is there's no way Haru is Haru. Haru was much too different in the prologue than to how he is now. Like, at least Miyuki has an excuse. She was taken by the Shadow Hands, but still somehow is alive, and that's proven by the fact that Renamon is still here. And the, similarly, Garurumon exists and has memories of being the Gabumon that defended Haru. So... Haru has to still be alive, too. And... Alright, I just got another horrifying thought that I'm gonna come back to. But... 
Yeah, because I still think that the professor has to be Haru. It's the only thing that makes sense. And the second idea. If we are going by the idea that the Haru that we currently know is Renamon, but again, that wouldn't make sense because it's just like... Miyuki cannot be an illusion to any degree. Because another part of my mind was, what if Miyuki has been here for a long time and there's like no time dilation? What if there was no time dilation? Yeah, what if there was no time dilation? But Miyuki has been stuck in the digital world ever since Haru was pushed out. And then Haru kind of like forgot maybe? Or perhaps he... uh like his parents found him and like oh no he's gone slightly insane because he lost his sister in the woods and he's reconciling that with legends of the kimonogami and maybe they went through therapy and that was like partially like forget it because he was a small child a smaller child probably younger than Mew so it's possible that years and years and years have gone by he forgot that his sister was in the digital world. And while I... This is not an actual theory. This is just the thought that came to mind. What if Mi Miyuki was also old? But Renamon is keeping an illusion on Miyuki to, like, preserve her psyche. Because Miyuki went and got traumatized super, super badly. So Renamon did all that they could to make... Miyuki calm again to make Miyuki like stable and they were like fine I will pretend to be Haru and I'll defend you and because like maybe being older like I don't know it's like that was just an idea because maybe that would explain some of the stuff that Miyuki's going through and would also be kind of an interesting twist because everyone here is like, ah ha ha, there's going to be time dilation between the digital world and the physical world because that is uh, the Digimon norms. But then Psych, it was actually different things. But like, because we know that Miyuki has to be Miyuki. Miyuki has to be Miyuki and probably isn't even old. It's just, oh, she's traumatized from being taken by the Kenzuku. And was saved by somebody, maybe Renamon. And Renamon has been protecting Miyuki this entire time. Whether or not Renamon is pretending to be Haru through illusions, that's still hard to overly decide because Haru is not Haru. Haru went through a portal. Haru had a ghost face in the first part of the game. Or was it? Yeah, the first, like. Before we fought the first spider champion, Digimon, we saw Haru on the stairs looking like a ghost with a ghost face haunting look. So there has to be shenanigans at play. And also, again, Haru jumped after Ryo fell from the bridge and showed no signs of pain or damage. Whereas Ryo was still... I uh, was kind of knocked out. Was knocked out for a moment from the jump or the fall. So yeah, it's like Haru has to be Rinamon. It's the only thing that makes sense. Still doesn't explain why uh, Gururumon... Like, maybe they were hiding when Gururumon came to fight. Maybe. And, uh, but they're also leading more into the possibility that the professor is Haru because the professor, like, immediately took some interest in the two. But that's my, that's why my theory currently is after being sent back to the physical world through the portal, Haru got therapy and treatment and was basically told, your sister died in the woods and you're reconciling this through psychotic visions and hallucinations or like just you made a, a, a coping story up to try and make it more fantastical and deal with it rather than oh she just got lost in the woods and died and over the years that's what he accepted and he kind of repressed it because he was so young and now he's so old and perhaps 
then again, it could also potentially be that that's where his interest in the Kimonogami came, because all we have is his word that he was like, oh, I'm a scholar of religions or whatever, and he got permission to come to the shrine. But then he talked as if he'd known about the Kimonogami a lot. That's the thing. Because I'm fairly certain that he's like, oh, I just got permission to be here. But then later on, he kind of seemed like he alluded to him knowing about the Kimonogami much, much longer than he feasibly should have been. Like, or it could be, could be translation, could be me misremembering, could be me just uh, overthinking things. But yeah, Professor is good. Mi I trust Miyuki. I don't know what the fuck Haru is, but Haru is not Haru. I assume that Haru is Renamon, but we don't exactly know. And that's scary. And also, Haru did the, I don't trust Drachmon either. What the fuck is wrong with you? But yeah, anything else? Uh, I'm just happy. Uh, I'm just happy that there is potential that Falcomon and Minoru can potentially make up. But the fact is, everybody else managed to make up decently and is on the road to recovery, I feel like Saki and Florimon will have a little bit of bumps, but I think they're very safe. Kaito and Drachmon, I'm unsure. I feel like they've come to an understanding and, like, do truly trust one another in the sense that Kaito feels he has no reason to believe that Drachmon will betray him and is finally kind of letting off, but at the same time gonna kind of return to the way they were, kind of banter and friendly, aha, uh -huh, I'm gonna insult you and be hard on you and then the other one's gonna finger guns back. Because Drachmon did say that he kind of failed to pick up what Kaito was like uh, feeling and going through so he feels a little bit responsible, so I think everybody else is safe. It'll all come down to fucking how Minoru and Falcomon make up. And I'm fucking scared. I'm scared, man. I don't think that they would do a danger, haha, -ha, people gonna die again. And I feel like because of what the professor said, that the Digimon... The Kimonogami reflect what is in their tamer's hearts. I feel like that means that because Minoru recognizes that he was wrong, that he was overreacting, and that he falsely blamed Falcomon, that that might reach out, and that's where Falcomon's gonna ultimate Digivolve. He's gonna ultimate Digivolve in response to save Minoru, or maybe, like, uh, they'll fight where Falcomon is, like, kind of catching up emotionally to where Minoru was, and now Minoru is kind of where Falcomon was, but more, like, emotionally devastated, and, like, some monster is probably gonna, like, come out and try to attack Falcomon, and Minoru is gonna jump, uh, in the middle. And then Falcomon's like, you do truly care in Ultimate to save the day. Or depending on how much affinity I have, maybe Mineru will just fucking die. I don't know! This game hurts me sometimes! But yes, but yes. Thank you very much for watching. This game is still utterly amazing. I'm still having lots of fun with it. And especially after I got over my expectations for the game after Ryo died, I feel like I'm really getting along again with this game. I'm getting much better along with this game. Granted, I'm also safe coming for Affinity, but that's just because some of the things feel a bit off. Judging the characters is difficult. Like, again, sometimes they're like, oh, yes, one way, and there's like, oh, oh, then I will continue to, with that theme, and then the next time they interact, no, you need to be the other way, and it's like, ugh. It would be one thing if it, like, allowed me to see what I would actually say, because there have been a few times where the little blurb just gave the vague idea of what you're going for, and then either didn't say what I wanted it to say or was expecting it to say, 
and uh, sometimes, like, if I knew I was going to say exactly that sentence, I would have picked that first. Or if I knew that he was going to say that, I wouldn't have picked that. But it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. But when it comes to actual tangible decisions, again, like Kaito versus Arukinimon's disguise, I'm going to hold to that more. It's just that I am paranoid about my ability to save people being linked to stats. Fear! But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have various archives of these here streams going up on my YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. Over there, you can watch various playthroughs from previous streams, such as the Mass Effect Trilogy, and uh, Undertale, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, and much more. If you're already one of those people watching these here archives, you can catch me playing these games live at twitch.tv slash neoniceywings. And if you want to see more of my little art that you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, but, like, not a stream avatar, I try to post art to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. I just need to actually get around to, oh, yes, finish this, post it rather than sequester all drawings within the Discord that is my home. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>